the top 10 real life zombies in nature. At number 10, the deadly voodoo wasp. This is literally death, alien style for caterpillars. The Gilpotalates wasp injects larvae into the crawler, which begins a horrendous cycle. The larvae feed on fluids and then slowly eat through the host to emerge on the outside and form a cocoon. But something remarkable happens. The caterpillar protects the cocoon as if it was mind controlled. At number 9, the berry ant. Being transformed into a peeling edible berry would kinda suck. The nematode parasite infects the cephalic ant and it changes its abdomen to look like a berry, but it also causes the ant to act sluggish. The whole act attracts birds, which will eat the ant and spread the parasite to a new location. At number 8, Pufferfish Toxin. Over a thousand times more deadly than cyanide, one fish can kill 30 people. The toxin can paralyze whole body parts and make people even appear dead. To this day, there are no known antidotes, so it's a good idea to stay away from this deadly fish. Amazingly, some of the meat from the pufferfish is a delicacy in Japan. Tasty fish. Concentrate, concentrate. I want ah! to go! At number 7, the Emerald Wasp. Alien style death number 2, the female wasp will paralyze its host, which is usually the cockroach. Venom creates unbalanced dopamine levels, which allows the wasp to pull the victim to its den while alive and not offering any resistance. Eggs are laid into the roach, and the larvae eat the body from the inside out. At number 6, Zombie Frogs. Red frogs can almost completely be frozen for months on end with no organ or brain activity and still remain alive. Thanks to a high glucose level which acts like antifreeze, their bodies can withstand sub-zero temperatures and once the weather gets warmer, the frog can revive itself and appear to come back from death. At number 5, the fire ant zombie. Once infiltrated by the forward fly, larvae crawl through its host and eat the ant's brain. Some larvae even compelled its host to get away from the rest of the colony in order to avoid attack by the other ants. Once the ant is dead, the fly emerges from the decapitated head and will continue its attack on the fire ant's colony. At number 4, disco zombie snails. Parasitic worms are consumed and they eventually make their way into the snail's tentacles. The parasites cause bizarre and amazing pulsating lights in order to attract other birds. The birds eat the snail and the parasite is transferred to another area through the bird's waste. The cycle is complete once another snail consumes the broken down waste and becomes a victim. At number 3, the fungal zombie ant. A fungal parasite called cordyceps infects the host's brain and causes the ant to leave its colony and latch onto a leaf. The ant is held there against its will, allowing the spore to slowly grow outside its head and then drop fungal spores onto the rest of the ant's colony. There are many different types of fungal parasites which control a particular type of insect, and thankfully none are known to infect humans at this point. So you won't have to worry about being lashed onto a tree and having a fungal spore grow outside your head, because that's just not cool. At number 2, the suicidal grasshopper. Called the Spinocododis tellini, these parasite worms are ingested by their hosts and grow up to 4 times longer than its victim. The worm controls protein levels and causes the grasshopper to jump into water and actually drown itself. I might be able to handle the mind control part, but a parasitic worm devouring my insides until I drown to death? Now that's a bad way to go. The worm lives on and then eventually reproduces, but don't worry, these worms cannot mind control humans. At number 1, the Crab Saculina Barticles. Being one of the most weird and amazing parasites out there, this larvae will first inject itself into the crab and form an egg sac underneath the host. The parasite will alter males into females through castration and it will also mind control the crab to protect the parasite's eggs. Once the eggs hatch, the crab stirs the water to help spread the larvae onto its next target. So what's your favorite mind controlling zombie? Let me know in the comments, like the video, and please subscribe to my channel.